Shalom, all praises to Yahweh, Basham, Yahweh Shai, double honors to the elders in Israel that rule well, peace to the elect house of David. So this is Mail Online revealed every single US state is being advised to consider ethnic minorities as critical groups for Maxim Yashan, with half prioritizing black and Hispanic residents over white. Okay, the saith Francis. Half of US states mentioned racial equity in their plans for vaccine rollout. If you don't know what equity is, is um, in fact, let's hit. Right, so you have equality, but now you've got equity. It says the quality of being equal, fair, impartiality in dealing with others. It says equality, uniformity, conformity, symmetry, fairness, equal rights. Even, it goes to equal, identical in amount. So whereas equal is ident sorry, identical in amount, equity is well, if there's one lacking, you give them more. That's the idea. So the idea is because Jake is so plagued, they're going to try and Maxine against the plague, innit? How very thoughtful. Of these, 12 states specifically mention efforts to reach diverse <laughs> populations, which just means Jacob. Right, you can read these. New Mexico folks are Native American. So you've got Black, Hispanic, Native American be mentioned. It says in the US, the United States, Black and Hispanic people are almost three times more likely to die from Crown Royal than whites. Every year, state has been advised to consider ethnic minorities as a critical and vulnerable group in their Maxine distribution plans according to Centers for Disease Control Guidance, that's the CDC, to you and me. According to our analysis, 25 states have committed to a focus on racial and ethnic communities as they decided which groups should be prioritized in receiving a Crown Royal Maxine dose. This includes New Mexico, these include New Mexico, where collaboration with Native Americans is being prioritized. California, which is committed to ensuring black and Hispanic people have greater access to Maxine, and Oregon, where officials have said that ethnic minorities with, I think that means will, that ethnic minorities with have equitable access to the shop will have, that's meant to say. Anyway, anyway, I'm going to, you can read this, I'm just going to scroll, I'm just going to scroll. All right, so there you are. How thoughtful, man. How, how, how thoughtful. So this is 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 11. In fact, we'll start at 10. To whom you give, to whom you forgive anything, I forgive also. For if I forgave anything, to whom I forgave it, for your sakes forgave I it in the person of Mashiach. Lest Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. So his devices, his thoughts, his purposes, i.e. let's help Jacob. This is talking about having that bitterness in your heart. But the bitterness in your heart would not be rebuking your neighbour. In fact, suffering sin upon him. Not sounding the horn when there's something like this coming. They're not here to help, man. Get this word devices here. Naima, a mental perception, thought, an evil purpose, that which thinks the mind's thought or purpose. A mental perception. Mind, mind, thought, minds, minds. Even their inward thought. That they can wipe out the sand of the sea. That's mad. Psalm chapter 49, start 10. For he seeth that wise men die, likewise the fool and the brutish person perish and leave their wealth to others. Their inward thought is that their houses shall continue forever, 
and their dwelling places to all generations. They call their lands after their own names. This is Esau Edom, man. Everywhere Esau Edom goes, so it's like the thief in John the 10th chapter. Name was the place Esau Edom has gone and not just destroyed it, man. That's not a rhetorical question. Answer me now. There you are. So they're not going to help. They've not come with their salvation for your purpose. Psalm 55, 11. Wickedness is in the midst thereof. Deceit and guile depart not from her streets. Psalm chapter 55 and 20. He hath put his hands... For he hath put forth his hands against such as be at peace with him. He hath broken his covenant. The same covenant he already made with so-called Native Americans. So-called Latinos. The numerous amount of treaties. How many treaties has Esau Eden broke in our history, recent history? Enough. But now, now he's, come, he's come to save Jacob out of it, man. The same one that gave him... Um, Smallpox in a blanket. He's now come to put something inside you to, to make you well again. The spirits of Esau Edom are subject to Esau Edom. The same one that came to give you jabs up in the Tuskegee, Tuskegee vaccination. What happened, Yasso? Huh? What happened then? What will happen here? Just the same way that the Lord changes not the spirit, the enmity, the perfect perpetual hatred is not changed, man. <laughs> Jacob, wake no blood clot up, man. Wake no man. Psalm 55, 21. The words of his mouth were smoother than butter, but war was in his heart. His words were softer than oil, yet were they drawn swords. That's... There you are, man. This is Ezekiel chapter 35. Let's start with one. Moreover, the word of the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, came unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face against Mount Seir and prophesy against it. And say unto it, Thus saith the Lord God, Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, Behold, O Mount Seir, I am against thee, and I will stretch out mine hand desolate. Sorry, I will stretch out mine hand against thee, and I will make thee most desolate. I will lay thy cities waste, and thou shalt be desolate, and thou shalt know that I am the Lord, because thou hast had a perpetual hatred, and hast shed the blood of the children of Israel. By the, forth, by the force of the sword, in the time of their calamity, in the time that their iniquity had an end, therefore as I live, saith the Lord God, Yahweh, Basham, Yahweh Shai, I will prepare thee unto blood, and blood shall pursue thee. Sith thou hast not hated blood, even blood shall pursue thee. Similarly, that Lord, I believe it's Numbers, the 35th chapter. It talks about how can blood be cleansed? How can blood be cleansed? You know the Most High is not mocked. Galatians chapter 6, verse 7. Be not deceived, God is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. Whatever you put out. This talks about the flesh and the spirit. And we need to be building up on our spirit. Because reaping that whole... The carnal, the carnal side, the Black Panther Israelites, that's not going to help you, man. And the Kiyah beat Esau with him blessing. You have to look upon Jacob's blessing. What is it? It's faith-based. Faith-based Israelites, that's what you need to be. You have some groups mocking and scoffing at others saying faith-based Israelites. But without faith, it's impossible to please him. When the Lord of man... Sorry, when the Son of Man cometh to the earth, will he find faith on this earth? Let's go to Daniel chapter 7, verse 18. 
But the saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom and possess the kingdom forever, even forever and ever. And the kingdom, I can't remember who said it, but kingdoms go down in history through warfare. Right now it's a spiritual warfare, a war of information, man. Info wars, <laughs> like you have Alex Jones on. It's the real info wars, man. The censorship. I've never seen so many people's channels get marks, like get, what do you call them? Strikes, strikes, get strikes, get videos taken down, channels shut down. And some of them are talking about medical information, and the video isn't even about medical. It's not even about Max. It's not. It's just mentioning maybe the history. For example, Tuskegee. For example, the smallpox. Everyone's heard of that. But now, now they've changed. <laughs> this is Genesis chapter twenty-seven, verse forty. And by thy sword shalt thou live, and shall serve thy brother, and it shall come to pass, when thou shalt have the dominion, that thou shalt break his yoke from off thy neck. And Esau hated Jacob because of the blessing wherewith his father blessed him. And Esau said in his heart, The days of mourning for my father are at hand. Then will I slay my brother Jacob. And we just read in Ezekiel how that was a perpetual hatred. <laughs> that's, that's, that was the... Yeah, it happened, but it's also symbolic of the things to come. I.e. there's going to be a nation pursuing another nation. Same way Esau the man pursued es Jacob the man. And now it's Edom pursuing Israel. Yashra al. Even other one. Let's get Revelation 13. Start of verse Start of verse 14 And deceiveth them that dwell on the earth By the means of those miracles Which he had power to do in the sight of the beast Saying to them that dwell on the earth That they shall make an image to the beast Which had the wound by a sword and did live The image to the beast That's the system The system of Rome Come back in the incarnation of Mystery Babylon Which is the United States of America which is really the head of all it's at least the, the front for all the, the wickedness on the earth man. <laughs> everything that's against these scriptures you will find it in the USA and that's, that's the home of it that's where it got pushed from all the things that came out of Europe in the renaissance the rebirth when they were just coming up out of the I guess the yoke even of Jake uh, says he'd break. That happened obviously in a time. But there was another time. I came out with all this new philosophy, iconoclasm, conquering the world. Even the um, the wasp, so-called white Anglo-Saxon Protestantism, which was a lot of the foreigner. You had the Cromwells coming up, and this was creating their system again, and their miracles goes on to their sword, their military prowess and also their medical you have checked the um, you know the serpent with a a cane or a rod that's a, that's an old the, all of these sim symbologies they had in the ancient world they had in the recent ancient world with the Greeks and the Romans the same one, it tells you about what happened when Alexander the Great came Malachi tells you, tells you about the wicked I will allow that Revelation 16 and 4 I think or 18 and 4 oh. and look 20, 21st of December do you, do you have your spiritual powers you've got um, you got 10 minutes and 4 hours or should I say four hours and ten minutes? And then that would that would just be nonsense, wouldn't it? Let me find this salah. Alright, sixteen and thirteen. I know I thought four. Let 
Well, that, let's actually start from 1. Revelation 16 verse 1 and 2. And I heard a great voice out of the temple saying to the seven angels, Go your ways and pour out the vials of the wrath of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai upon the earth. And the first went and poured out his vial upon the earth. And there fell a noisome and grievous sore upon the men which had the mark of the beast and upon them which worshipped his image. The noisome, you even have, what's that? I can't remember the word in the Hebrew, but the noisome plague. The noisome plague, let's get that. Or the noisome pestilence. There you are. That was it, Psalm 91. Surely he shall, he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. The noisome saw, that's, that is the noisome pestilence. Psalm 91 can actually, well it is going into this. I was going to say it can actually be applied. Of course these things were written, but like Yahweh explained Psalm 110 and how that was in the spirit. But noisome and grievous saw is that plague, even the plague of Zechariah 14 and 12, when everyone stood upon their feet, the eyes start melting away, the tongue starts perishing. And that's funny about the tongue, because a lot of people's tongue, that's the same scoffing and mocking, that's what you do with your tongue. But it's ironic <laughs> that that will be melted. Which had the mark of the beast, the mark of the beast is the RFID microchip, Charagma. Acts 17:29. That's talking about a graven image, even a sculpture. So that's the last sculpture, the last idol. That the whole world who gets tried will either have to bow to or reject. Right, Revelation 16 and 13. And I saw three unclean spirits like frogs come out, the, come out of the mouth of the dragon, and out of the mouth of the beast, and out of the mouth of the false prophet. The prophet? What false prophet? Because it's not talking about the Islamic Muhammad. This is going into the Roman Catholic Church. Even the Catholic Church, meaning universal. The same Antiochian spirit. That, Come on, let's all be one. And every, every single Christian denomination is basically just a remix of Rome. And Rome, it's, it has to be attached to the Roman system. For that is the beast that comes out of... Well, let's just read it. Revelation 13 and 1. And I saw upon the sand of the sea, and saw a beast rise up out of the sea, having seven heads and ten horns, and upon his horns ten crowns, and upon his heads the name of blasphemy. So out of the sea, that's the Rome. Then you have one coming up out of the land, and that's going into the USA. So this false prophet, you can it has to be it has to be attached to the fourth beast of Daniel and even the the eleventh horn before whom three fell the false prophet that's what I was saying all the churches come out of the false prophet and that's the same ones that blasphemed is that Revelation 13 upon, yeah and upon his heads the name of blasphemy so you had Esau, Edom opening the book of the law wherein they sought to paint their likeness even unto the angels even unto the prophets, the saints, um, the Messiah. That's where you get that uh, Salvador Mundi, Savior of the world. And that's the same doctrine that they come with. All, all can be saved. Then you've got the Eucharist. You've got the different intricacies. But from that, pretty much every Christian denomination came out was a remix of the Roman Catholic Church, the false prophet. And why I say, say this is look, let's actually get it. Look man, they're in agreements with ISUPK. This is Mail Online. Vatican declares it morally acceptable for Catholics to receive Quaro vaccines based on research that used tissue from abortions. Ah, the Vatican said it received several requests for guidance on the Quaro vaccines. Vaccines have been prepared from, ce from cells derived from aborted fetuses. The church said it is morally acceptable to receive the Crown Royal vaccines. Let's read the second one again. Maxines have been prepared from cells derived from aborted fetuses. Ra. And it's, yo, how is that not defiling your temple? The Vatican has declared it is morally acceptable 
for Roman Catholics to receive crown royal vaccines based on re research that used fetal tissue from abortions. What's that? That's a miracle. They've taken a dead baby. Yeah, I'm not trying to argue. Is there a baby? Has it started yet? It's a life form. That's how it was aborted. Now it's dead. And they've taken a dead baby and they've utilised some part of it and used pharmacia, which is where you get the, the term pharmacy. And that's, that's all this health system. <laughs> pharmacia, man. That's witchcraft. Yeah, use... If, if, if you were to go to a rural African tribe, right? Or wherever, uh, uh, even even Haiti. Yeah, how they get down with, with the wudu, the voodoo and, and wicca, and tell you that they took a um, an aborted fetus, they took a, a, a little thing out of it, started looking at it, and then started putting it in people. You would say it's witchcraft. Think about the, Think about this double standard, man. That's part of the miracles too, the being able to smooth talk it. Like, that's not fucking weird. Excuse my language, but that is weird blood. That is weird. It says the Congregation for the Doctrine of the Faith of the Vatican's Watchdog Office for Doctrinal Orthodoxy said it addressed the question after receiving several requests for guidance during recent months. Let's see if there's anything else worth reading. Drawing on Vatican pronouncements in past years about developing vaccines prepared from cells derived from aborted fetuses, the watchdog office issued a statement. It said, Pope Francis had examined last week and ordered to be made public. The Catholic Church's teaching says that abortion is a grave sin. Now listen to this. How does that even make sense? Listen to this. The, the Vatican con concluded that it is morally acceptable to receive the Crown Royal 1-9... Maxines that have used cell lines from aborted fetuses in the research and production processes when ethically irreproachable maxines aren't available to the public. So it's, apparently it's such, a, it's such a thing that you should go against who they believe to be God and say, in fact, I know it's a grave sin, but it's not ready yet, so that's just grave sin. How how what kind of doctrine is that? A false prophet. A false prophet, just like ISUPK. Just like you should take it. That what kind of spirit is that? And then he goes on. I know I know that in my hood I've seen it personally. I've seen it personally. What happened? But uh, anyway, just take it, man. Don't sweat it. Don't sweat it. But it stresses that the licit uses of such maxims does not and should not in any way imply. That there is a moral endorsement of this of the use of cell lines proceeding from aborted fetuses. But it doesn't. That's like, yeah, I'm not celebrating Christmas, but I am gonna get some presents and open it and have a dinner and what? Yeah, alright, well you're not doing it by word, but by deed you are. And that's what that's what Christians don't need to don't seem to understand. <laughs> they don't need to understand it if it's not their lot, but they don't seem to understand it. But just because you say something and do contrary. It's the, the action that does country that counts. But in the world, they would understand it still. I mean, talking about Christians still. If I said I love you, but every time I see you, I just beat you up. I'm a striker. That's not love, is it? It's not like chastisement. I'm talking about just a beating. Like, just, just using violence, assault, being a tyrant. That's not love, is it? Let's see what we can get out of this. It just doesn't make sense. It says, The Vatican said the... Vo the... Vo the Maxines used cell lines drawn from tissue obtained from two abortions that occurred in the last century. In the last century. So you mean to tell me they've preserved this thing for however long? This is pharmacia, man. Let's get the word pharmacia, then let's close out. So this is Revelation 22 start at 14 blessed are they that do his commandments that they may have right to the tree of life and may enter in through the gates into the city for without we're just talking about that the lip service you, but your heart's far from saying you love but you're spiritually giving a beat down giving a beat down to the book 
you're, de you're blaspheming. You're detracting from the reputation. That's what you do when you're not keeping the commandments. It's a blessed are they that do his commandments. That they may have right to the tree of life and may enter in through the, gate, through the gates into the city. And you'll say, well, you, can't, you even say you can't get saved by the law. We know that. It's faith. Through faith we made whole. But there's a difference between striving and genuinely trying your best and just sitting there comfortably, willfully sinning. That's the difference. It says, for without are dogs. So without the commandments are dogs and sorcerers and whoremongers and murderers and idolaters and whosoever loveth and maketh a lie. And when you get this word, sorcerers, oh, wrong verse. Sorcerers, pharmacos. Strong's G, 5333. So you've only got that there. So the same word he just pronounced that a bit different. So let's try to see well, there's only um, two usage or two uses. So let's try to get pharmakia. Because that's the the root. Here we are. Pharmakia. Pharmakaya, Salah. It says the use or the administering of drugs. So that goes into your medicines, your medical system, everything. And the false prophet is promoting it at the same image of that beast. It says poisoning. It says sorcery, magical arts often found in connection with idolatry and fostered by it. Even thinking of worshipping that, that king of Babylon spirit, that man of sin. Exalts himself above everything that is called God. And he he maketh himself God. But really he maketh a lie. So it's a metaphor the deceptions and seductions of idolatry. So you've got the opposite of the fruits of the spirit, the fruits of the flesh. So Galatians chapter 5 verse 19. Now the works of the flesh are manifest, which are these adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lasciviousness, idolatry, witchcraft, Hatred, variance, emulations, wrath, strife, seditions, heresies, envyings, murders, drunkenness, revelings, and such like, of the which I tell you before, as I have told you in the, in time past, that they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. That goes into the same for without are this and this and that, the right to the tree of life that they may enter. So you got the word witchcraft there. Revelation 3 and 21 talking about plagues. And they still don't, won't repent. Or still don't repent in the chapter. But when it comes to pass, still won't repent. Revelation 3, sorry, Revelation 9, 21. Neither repented they of their murders, nor of their sorceries, nor of their th fornications, nor of their thefts. Let me read that again because I stumbled. Neither repented they of their murders, nor of their sorceries, nor of their fornication, nor of their thefts. It says, we've got this one, this is a prevalent one still. Yeah, we'll just read it from here. Revelation 18.23 And the light of a candle shall shine no more at all in thee, and the voice of the bridegroom and of the bride shall be heard no more at all in thee. For thy merchants... With the great men of the earth, for by thy sorceries were all nations deceived. Even Revelation 17, 1 and 2. And there came one of the seven angels, which had the seven vials, and talked with me, saying unto me, Come hither, I will shew unto thee the judgment of the great hall, that sitteth upon many waters, with whom the kings of the earth have committed fornication, and the inhabitants of the earth have been made drunk with the wine of her fornication. Right now the whole world's drunk. When the judgment is complete, there will be no more drunkness. It will be a very sobering time. And people won't be deceived no more. Just like the little season, the time before that. But it will be even greater this time, because no one will be deceived. And there's nothing secret that should not be made manifest. I believe that's Luke 8, 17. It says, for nothing is secret. 
that shall not be made manifest, neither anything hid, that shall not that shall not be known and come abroad. Even going into certain people fainting live on TV after taking this thing. Esau, your skirt's been lifted up, man. Lifted up. For all nations to see thy nakedness, man. Alright, so I don't even know what the title is, but just I pray that I was edified. Until the next time, Lord willing. Peace to the elect house of David. The book honors to the elders in Israel that rule well. All praises, of course, to Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai. Shalom.